Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up SQLite on your Windows operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for SQLite. And the first link which will appear here will be from SQLite.org. So we are going to click on this link here. And straight away, you will see this download button on the home page or this download tab so just click on the download button wherever you see it and then you have few options so you have the option to uh, download the source code here you have the documentation pre-compiled binary so we are looking for the pre-compiled binary for the windows operating system so just uh, go to the section where it says pre-compiled binary for windows and then you will be able to see SQLite DLL file and you will also see uh, this which is called SQLite tools hyphen window hyphen x64. So this is the tool we want. So I'm going to click on this option which says SQLite tool win x64 zip file and then let me save this file so once this zip file is downloaded just go to the location where it's downloaded and then i'm going to extract this zip file so when you double click on this zip file you will see uh, what are the application or exe file which are there inside this zip file so it has all these tools we are interested in uh, this tool which is called sqlite 3 right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this zip file and then click on extract all and I'm going to extract this zip file in my C folder. So let me just uh, write the part here which is C colon backslash and I'm going to just uh, name my folder as SQLite. Okay. So this will be the path where those exe file will be uh, extracted so in my case i have chosen the sqlite folder in my c drive and then i'm going to click on extract which is going to extract all these files in my c drive right now once these files are extracted we can directly use these files from here but to efficiently use this uh, sqlite 3 command from your terminal what you can do is just copy this path which is c colon backslash sqlite and then just go to the search bar and search for environment variable okay so search for environment variable and when you type first few letters of environment you will see this option which says edit the system environment variables so click on that and it's going to open this kind of window right so here you need to click on environment variables option and then under system variables you will see the path option so click on path and then click on edit and then paste your sqlite folder path here so i'm going to just paste it and then once you're done press enter and then click on ok and once again click on ok and once again click on ok right so once you have set the environment variable you can open the command prompt so search for cmd here and then open the command prompt and from here you can use the sqlite 3 command now so just write sqlite 3 and then press enter and it's going to open the sqlite 3 shell here right you can also see which version of sqlite is installed in your system and from here, you will be able to create your DBs and query your uh, tables. Now, to exit from uh, this uh, shell, you can just write dot exit here and you, are, you can come out of this shell. If you want to create a new uh, database, you can just give this command, which is SQLite3, and then your database name. So, let's say I want to give the database name as my first DB. And then just write dot db right so this will be the file name and then when you press enter it's going to uh, create that database in your local system right 
I have mistakenly clicked the control C button, which uh, is the command from coming out of this shell, right? But uh, when you want to uh, just go to this uh, database once again, just type this command once again, and you can see uh, you're once again there, right? And now I can create a table here. So it's a very simple SQL command, which you can use on any other SQL uh, uh, database management system. You can uh, type this kind of command, which is create table, uh, your table name and then your fields, right? So I'm going to do that. And this kind of uh, command is going to create your tables, right? Now, if you don't want to use this command line tool, you can also download uh, SQLite Manager. So just go to this website, which is called sqlitebrowser.org. And then once you are in this uh, website, you can see the download uh, tab here. So click on the download tab and then you can download the installer for windows operating system so i'm going to click on this one which is standard installer for 64-bit windows so once you click on this link it's going to download the msi file here so click on this msi file which is going to start this uh, db browser for sqlite wizard i'm going to click on next here accept license terms and conditions click on next and then you can also choose if you want to create the desktop menu for SQLite and other things. I will leave everything as default and then click on next here and then click on next and then click on install and then click on yes when you see some warning. And once this is done, click on finish. And then from here, you can just search for DB browser. And this is the app which we have installed. So click on this and now this db browser for sqlite has been started so you can create the new databases using this gui tool also right so when you want to create a database click on new database and then choose the location where you want to create uh, your database file so let's say i want to create this db file in my desktop and here i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to just name it as sqlite and then inside this i will give the name let's say my db here dot db is the extension right and then click on save and it's going to create this kind of uh, database and then you can also create tables from here so for example i want to create a user table from here you can add the field for example i'm going to add the id field and it will be a number it can be a primary key and then I can also add one more field and I'm going to name it as name, which will be, let's say, a text. And then I can click on OK. And it's going to create my user table here, right? So once this table is created, you can also insert some data. And you can see the inside this SQLite file, my DB uh, database file is also saved, right? So this is how you can install and set up SQLite on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.